Good stuff. How's it going everybody? I'm at Kyle's house right now. This is Leo Potzel TV, Reef Tank Addiction, Season 2. And I'm super excited to be featuring this gorgeous 410 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. Kyle, thank you so much for having me here today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself so we can literally jump in this tank and start learning as much as we can about it. Yeah, um, my name's Kyle. I've been in the hobby for about six years and other than that, I started out with a 29 gallon bio cube and it just kind of snowballed into this thing. So uh, you know what, we covered quite a bit. We got uh, live rock, some coral, we got the sand bed, we got the acrylic tank, we covered the apex stuff here at the bottom, the filtration at the top, this lighting. Um, what else, the skimmer, we got the auto top off here, uh, reservoir which is 75 gallons, the quarantine tank that we had in the closet here. Kyle, you know what, we've covered so much and I'm sure there's a lot more that we can cover man. Uh, is there anything else that, that you wanted to point out to me here that I uh, didn't really uh, mention or? No, not really. Um, most people actually haven't seen the tank in person yet. Um, no one's really seen the tank in person. No, only a few people. And how privileged now. am I to be here today? Yeah, like, pretty good. Yeah, I'm super yeah. excited coming up here. Yeah, it's I, a it's a rare tank to have just because it's a shallow reef and how long it is. Mm -hmm. um, tanks this long usually don't exist just because usually this long they're like a thousand plus gallons. And it's funny because when I was building this, I was actually trying to keep the gallon count down. Uh, I didn't want a thousand gallons in this house. I didn't want to take care of it, but I wanted a 16 foot tank. Right. So this is the best way I could figure to do it. And I, again, I don't have a full time job with my tank. I barely touch this thing. It runs pretty much itself. Um, I get stuck with all the fun stuff, which is adding fish and coral and, you know, moving stuff that doesn't need to be moved, but that's always fun, right? Enjoying the Yeah, tank. enjoying the, the fun parts of it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, other than that, again, I don't really do much to it. I mean, the apex helps. Is the apex completely needed to do this? Absolutely not. Right. But I, I like it the helps, product right? and it does help a bit, yeah. To your lifestyle, right? Yeah, especially since I can control it from anywhere in the world and mm -hmm. the the support behind Apex is insane. I mean, if you have a question, usually it gets answered in a couple of minutes, so not yeah. hours, right? So Apex is really... Uh, Customer service-wise, yeah, they're probably top-notch. They're one of the best. That's really sure. good to know, yeah, man. That's so. good. That, it really counts in a company about customer service. Yeah, especially for a niche industry like this, which is salt can... water keeping, because usually the companies are not that large. Mm -hmm. So it's surprising that a company like Neptune, even though they are one of the largest, still to have the support that they have. Uh, also, there's a lot of people around the world that use Neptune products, so there's a lot of support there too. So that helps a lot. And you got uh, lots of money in line invested and whatnot, oh, so yeah. we want to make sure that if we are having problems with any of our equipment or have any questions or whatever, there's someone there to answer them, right? Yeah, or exactly. Even getting new parts or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. You always want to look into that stuff and read well, some that's, reviews. That's right? why I bought the lights off uh, who I did, right? Reef Boutique, because if anything goes wrong with them, I can call the owner of the store and say, hey, look, I need help fixing this light. And either I can get a replacement the same day or get it fixed. I'm not sending it somewhere. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, local. Yeah, so if he wants to sell me that, I will pay more. Because in the end, if something does go wrong, I need it fixed quickly. I, I can't wait. I can't RMA something for two weeks. That's just ridiculous. So I refuse to do that. Okay. So again, that's again why all the equipment's bought from one place. All the lights are bought from one place. And that's pretty much it for everything on this tank. I shop at two places for all equipment. That is it. And for fish and livestock, I shop at like three stores. That is it. I used to shop all the way around Toronto. I've got a bunch of stores. A lot of them have lost my trust. I'm not spending any more money there, and that's it. So I pick three or four stores, more like three, and that's where I shop, and that's it. I will just pay because everything I've ever gotten off them, I've had luck with. And, you know, it might just be me. I might be, you know, bad at keeping certain things or whatnot, but it just seems that way, so that's the decision I made. 
when all my fish, I went through the whole crash thing and everything like that, and I lost most of my fish and stuff. So now I just stick with companies. I just, I don't have time, and I just don't have the patience to deal with this garbage anymore. Good, man. That's good. I noticed uh, you got an acrylic uh, or glass, or uh, sorry, acrylic lids here. Yeah, they're kind of cover. What, so they're actually what, sorry? They're Lexan, uh, type Le polycarbonate. So if you use acrylic, acrylic will warp. It will actually soak in water and warp, but Lexan won't. So this is the bulletproof stuff that they use for uh, you know, armoring cars and windows and stuff like that. But it doesn't soak in as much water, so it doesn't warp. Right? But you can still CNC it. So if you look at these ones over here, these are CNC halfway, and then they have the hole for the auto fish feeder. Perfect. And that's it, right? And uh, to be honest with you, I could not run this open top. The humidity would be horrible, yeah. and this dehumidifier wouldn't be able to keep up with it. Yeah, I have one of those in my, yeah. my house too. So as this well. way, I mean, I'm sitting at 45 right yeah. now, percent. Yeah. Oh, it's I'll actually running right now. It's saying yeah. the, the humidity level. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. I mean, really that's almost matched exactly outside so by keeping those lids down you uh lower the amount of water yeah, that's evaporated and, yeah also now a 75 gallon auto top off lasts me like two months so 75 gallon auto top off will last you two months yeah so i fill it two months every two months i fill it i usually now i fill it up like a quarter of the way mm -hmm. let it drain clean it a quarter of the way mm -hmm. but if i just won't be bothered and i know i'm not going to be bothered with a tank for like a month mm -hmm. i'll fill it all the way up and i only have to look at it Good man, you got a little sight glass there on the side? Yeah. Or in the again, it's just a normal 75 gallon tank. So like one with the black trim on yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, same thing. If you look on the other side, here, you get to see it's this clear glass on the back side. Yeah, clear right? glass. So yeah. it says 75 gallons and this is a product called Cincho, which is expanded PVC. So pretty much it's a PVC pipe that's right. flat Wow. and that I can see and see. So I just made covers for it some oh. trim and I cut this hole so I could see it and that's what the back is made out of the backboard to mount my right, impact. right. this is what all this trim's made how out thick of. is that stuff this is only eighth, inch. eighth of an inch yeah that is half inch and quarter yeah I was gonna say that probably needs to be a little bit yeah. thicker right uh, other than that it's completely waterproof it does not rot it's very it's well how did you uh, like stick that onto the glass this is just taped on that's just taped on? Yeah, it's taped on with a... Uh, super clean tape. job, bud. Yes. <laughs> it's called VHB That tape. looks super nice, man. I like that. It's VHB tape, and it's weighted for like, you know, uh, 40 or 50 pounds per square inch. So it's not going... So why out. did you cover? Just for presentation, uh, clean presentation cut? Presentation and probably you know, mostly to keep light out of it. Like, you know, not... Some light, whatever. I just didn't want tons of light. Right. And I just didn't want an empty 75-gallon tank underneath my, uh, my main display. It just didn't look right. So this makes it look a bit cleaner. I don't know why the tops are white. I probably should have done those out of black, but again, there's 5,000 other things I do still want to do with the tank. Yeah. I'll get around to it. It's them only nine day. months old, like you said, right? Yeah. One day I want to retrim out the tank and everything too. What's that but, mean? Uh, we'll all the black trim I want to redo. Some of it got At damaged. the bottom here? Yeah, at the bottom and at the top. I got to repaint the stand still. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of plans going into it that I just never got around to. Mostly actually because the tank did horribly for the first three months mm -hmm. and then it started turning so those first three months were insane that's also why i hadn't finished the basement 100 percent yet takes up a lot of time at the beginning but yeah. right now i'm extremely happy because again i don't do much and it just works this is gorgeous man look at that eh this is very nice and relaxing i'm actually yeah. taking a seat right now and taking this in this is beautiful man i like this little like island little situation over here yeah. Whatever you want to call it, the aquascaping, nice open space. Even when you're sleeping, maintaining your levels, keeping them from peaking. Beginner or pro, yeah, happy reefing. It's in our blood, it's like we're bleeding. You won't even believe me, the things that we keep in. Do it yourself projects, yeah, you know you love it. Always keep them coming, now you're learning something.